In this video, you will see Peggy Ovire, Frederick Leonard's wife, biography and network, her age, family, kids, and many other open secrets and hidden truths about her. What you'll note among these are the many reactions she got when she asked if a man can still propose to a woman who cheats on him twice. So watch it to the end. If this is the first time, kindly hit the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our next video in the future. Like and share this video. Number one, her age. Peggy Ovire Enohu better known as Ego Yibo or Peggy, is presently 39 years old. She was born on 21st October 1985 in Lagos State, the western part of Nigeria, but hails from Ugeli North, local government area of Delta State, Nigeria. Peggy is the last born of her parents' six children. Her father is a great disciplinarian who owns a small business. While her mother is a housewife, both parents are still alive. Peggy didn't get any preferential treatment even though she was the last born. This beauty is a popular Nigerian actress, movie producer, ex-beauty queen, model, businesswoman, brand influencer, and the CEO of Peggy's World. Her early life, Peggy Ovire grew up with her family in Itire, the Surulere area of Lagos State. She obtained her primary school education at Itire Nursery and Primary School, Surulere, and her secondary education at AUD Secondary School, Surulere. She started her university education at Delta State University, Delsu, Abraka, but later finished at Ambrose Ali University, Epoma, where she obtained a degree in banking and finance. After this, she traveled to the United States of America and enrolled at the New York Film Academy in the city of New York. Peggy spent her early days in Lagos State. That's why she speaks the Yoruba language fluently, though she is an Urubo by tribe. Also in Peggy Obire's biography and net worth is her career. This tall and beautiful light-skinned actress began her career in the entertainment industry as a model. She began her modeling career during her undergraduate days in Delta State University, Abraka. Peggy won the 2003 Most Beautiful Girl on Campus in her school, became the third runner-up at the 2005 Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria pageant, contested for Miss Tourism Delta, and again won the 2007 Miss Galaxy International pageant. Peggy revealed that winning the Miss Galaxy pageant made her more coordinated and also gave her a wide perspective about life. Peggy later joined Nollywood in 2013 in a movie produced by Uche Nancy. According to her, she never planned to become a Nollywood celebrity, but also dreamt of becoming a medical doctor or a lawyer so as to make her family proud. Eventually, one of her friends who was already acting in Nollywood talked her into joining the industry. But her major breakthrough came when she acted in the television series called Husbands of Lagos. Luckily, Peggy was recognized everywhere, even in Europe, because of her role in this television series. Her nickname, Ego Yibo, also came through this TV series. Peggy said that she felt so blessed for being a part of that project by Rock Studio. She was on a vacation when she was called to partake in that series. Peggy is glad to have come this far in such a short while. Since then, she has acted in more than 50 films and has also acted alongside many veterans and new actors like Passion Zozoko, Tonto D.K., Jibola Dabo, Ebele Okaro, Ifani Kalu, Messi Johnson, Joseph Benjamin, Frederick Leonard, Bolanle Ninalowo, Kenneth Okolie, Yvonne Jegede, Suzanne Peters, Moyo Lawal, Uche Oduputa, Mary Remy Njoku, and other top Nollywood actors and actresses. She became very popular and sought after in 2015 after acting as Isioma Livino's wife, who was a stay at home mother. Guy's consistency wins. See, eh? Peggy started acting in 2013 but became a famous celebrity in 2015. Almost three years had passed before she gained recognition. Just keep pushing because one day you will become a celebrity. Still in 2015, Peggy Ovire became a movie producer and produced her first movie titled Emergency. Since then, she has produced other interesting movies like The Boy Is Mine, Love Made Me Do It, Game Changer, Fool Me Once, The Other Woman, Ufoma, and other new projects she is currently working on. Apart from being an actress and a producer, Peggy Ovire is also a model and fashionista. As a fashionista businesswoman, she is the founder, CEO and owner of a fashion online store called Peggy's World, a clothing line on Instagram. Peggy also owns a clothing boutique in Lagos called Hawks Couture, where she sells female clothes, bags, shoes, and other fashion accessories. In Nigeria and the world over, one stream of income is not enough. That is why Peggy has many other income sources 
for her livelihood. She also creates content on many other social media platforms. Moving on to her role models, Peggy Obire revealed that Angela Jolie and Nse Kwetim are her role models because they are both fantastic actors. She also looks up to Rita Dominic and wants to be like her. Same with Uche Jumbo. Speaking about her challenges in Nollywood, this cute actress revealed that she always falls sick whenever she finishes shooting a movie and also revealed that her first time on camera was a disaster as she was very shy. Away from this guy, she also expressed gratitude at how far she has come while maintaining that femme has given her a platform to speak and be heard and she's grateful for that. Talking about how she keeps fit, Peggy Obire said that she tries to watch what she eats, visits the spa at least once a week and uses products that are environmentally friendly. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share this video so that many people can also see it. Turn on the bell notification icon to get notified when we post another new interesting video. Love, life and relationship. Peggy Obire was accused of dating her colleague Fred Leonard, but she made it clear at the time that they were just friends. After 10 years of dating, Fred and Peggy got married traditionally on Saturday, 19th November 2022. Before her marriage, she was rumored to be dating Chidi Chikere, the ex-husband of Nuela Jubibo. Speaking of Peggy Obire's kids and children, right now, she is yet to welcome a baby with her husband. Neither Freddy nor Peggy had a child in their past relationships. Her net worth, Peggy is among the richest and influential actresses in Nigeria who has gained lots of wealth and fortune. Currently, she has an estimated net worth of $450,000. This made her to reveal in an interview that she can marry an average man who works hard and respects her because anybody can be rich. For her, getting married to a rich man is not her dream since she's already rich herself. Cars. She drives around in these beautiful and luxurious cars you are seeing now. This Urobo woman loves the good things of life. Her house. Her husband, Fred Leonard, surprised her with a very beautiful mansion. Lifestyle. First of all, Peggy is a lover of fashion. For her, fashion is her first love. Her style must be classy, clean, and polished. And her favorite fashion item is a ball dress. She dresses elegantly and neatly to suit her beautiful body shape and can never be caught wearing a tight jumpsuit because of her body type. For her, the essence of fashion is to always look for what suits a person's body. Secondly, Peggy revealed that she is also a shy person but very outspoken her likes and dislikes peggy is a friendly and calm person who sometimes likes to stay indoors she likes to be chased and also loves to travel and go to the cinema a lot to relax this urobo woman neither drinks nor smokes and hates being the life of any party again she hates men who love partying a lot sometimes she visits her friends when not on the set of any movie peggy obire's achievement as a popular Nollywood celebrity. She won the most promising actress of the year, English, at the 2015 edition of the City People Entertainment Awards and has also won many other great awards since then. For those who aspire to come into Nollywood, Peggy Ovire advised them to create another source of income as acting alone cannot pay all their bills. See other Nollywood celebrities' biographies in the video showing up here. So Peggy Ovire raised this question. She wrote, can a man still propose marriage after his woman cheats twice? So these were some of the responses she got. This one said, I will never cheat on you. The other one said, Omo, it's called love. Oh, all you need to do as a man is to ask her the reasons she cheated so you can change after that. This other one said, I can never. So these were some of the reactions she got. What's your take on this? Let us know in the comment section down below.